Good morning and welcome back to Advent Stories with Miss Chris. Um, during the season of Advent, the month of December, we will be walking through this book together. The Advent Story, 25 Bible stories showing why Jesus came. Because here at Christmas time, we are celebrating the birth of Jesus. But it's good for us to take this season of Advent, the time that we prepare our hearts for Jesus' coming, to remember why he came in the first place. Yesterday, day one, we talked about creation from Genesis 1 and 2. Today, we're going to talk about a perfect life. We're going to be, this scripture comes from Genesis 2 and 3. Imagine the most beautiful place you've ever seen. Did it have tall green grass and bright flowers? Did it smell fresh and sweet like a garden after the rain? Maybe it had warm sunshine with a cool breeze and birds that chirped and sang. That's the kind of place that God made. He planted a beautiful garden and filled it with everything the man and woman would need. The Garden of Eden was perfect. It had rivers with pure water and many trees with delicious food. It also had lots of creatures to play with and to learn about. The man's job was to take care of the beautiful garden and all of the animals. God told the man that he could enjoy the whole garden. God said the man could eat from any tree in the garden except for one. That one was called the tree of knowing good and evil. If he ate from that one tree, then he would die. The man and the woman were both created in God's image. God's beauty and goodness were in them. They loved God and he loved them. They also loved each other. Everything was perfect and beautiful, but someone didn't like that. Darkness and evil crept into the garden. The people had a terrible enemy called Satan who hated God. And Satan would do whatever he could to hurt what God had made. You know, yesterday we learned in the creation that everything was good and perfect and wonderful. And I asked you, is that the way things are right now? And, you know, we talked about that. I, I think that we talked that it's not. Things are not good and perfect and wonderful anymore because an enemy did creep into God's creation. We were made to love and be loved. What is love? When you think about what love means, love is wanting good for someone and then doing that good. Love is meeting the needs of another even at great cost to yourself. I want you to talk to your family about how you would describe love and who you love today. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for love. Thank you for loving us and creating us to love one another. Help us to show our love to everyone we meet every day. Amen. I will see you soon. Don't forget to stop by my office and pick up your own copy of this book so that you can follow along with Advent Stories with Miss Chris. See you tomorrow.